Hi, I'm Larry Dahlberg, and I've been tinkering with lures for over 50 years. And right now, you're with me in my workshop where I do my tinkering. Now, most of the lures I make, I keep sort of secret. But I've got a couple of bass lures that I've been working on, messing with for over 20 years. And I've decided that I really should share them with you. It was pretty snappy. Actually, my career in fishing started when I was 11 years old, when I was hired to be a smallmouth bass guide. I did it for 23 years. I also did a great deal of largemouth fishing. And one thing that I noticed, as I'm sure many of you have, all species of bass love crayfish. And largemouth are especially suckers for frogs. I've got to admit, I've kept these so top secret for so long, I'm somewhat conflicted when it comes to sharing them with you. But here they are. I call this one a clack and craw. And this one's called a diving frog, the Dahlberg diving frog. Now we've got lots of frogs and lots of crayfish imitations on the market, and they certainly do catch fish. But to me, the perfect solution needs to both look real in your hand, but more importantly, they need to look real when they move in the water. Let's look at crayfish first, real ones in the water. Notice how they propel themselves. Now let's look at the clack and crawfish. You think it's going to get bit? If you want to find out, you'll just have to try it. What about the frog? Again, let's look at a real one in the water. Check out my diving frog. It'll come over slop or through reeds without hanging up, just like any other good frog lure. But when it comes to open holes or even open water, it really comes alive. You can pop it, bubble chain it, you can let it sit or make it swim.
stop it and it floats back up just like a real frog. If you stroke it the length of a frog kick, it swims like it's real. Man, just watching it turns my crank. If you keep stroking it, it'll dive to about two feet. If you're a frog or a crayfish guy, I think you're going to want to check these two rascals out. You can get them from river to sea.